one of the most frequent questions I get asked these days is, how do I train a custom text image generator without having to learn code and collab and all that sort of stuff? So I've looked around a bit uh, to try to find the best sort of GUI or the best sort of tool um, to do what we call uh, train a LoRa um, for text -to image modeling. And I've landed on Eden. So I'll probably do a couple of videos um, over the next couple weeks on Eden.art. Um, I'll talk about why I think training on this tool is better than, say, Runway or some other things. Well, I think they're all quite good, um, or many of them are good. It's just I find Eden to be the most flexible. One, you can use it directly in their platform, which is great. And then two, if you pay for one of their subscription fees, you can also download it and use it in other tools. So if you are a comfy person or an Auto 1111 person, you can actually export these directly to those tools. Um, so today I'll just talk, walk through the process of actually training Allura um, using Eden.art. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have created an account with Eden.art. Um, if you don't have an account, there's actually kind of like an error. Um, essentially, you can try to upload images. So make sure you go in and create an account before you do that. Um, the best way to do that is if you come over here, um, you'll just click over here, I think, and it'll say like create an account or something. Um, so you'll be able to do that. So uh, what we're going to walk through today instead, I, I'm going to assume you're able to create an account, is we're going to look at training a Laura. So in order to do that, we'll come down to create. We'll click on this thing called concepts. So Eden um, describes these as concepts. Other people describe them as style generators, character generators, whatever you want to call it. But uh, Eden.art refers to them as concepts. So before you do anything here, um, let's talk about a little bit of what you need to gather in order to make this happen. So Eden.art requires uh, at least, well, about 20 images. I would say 20 images of what we would describe as a style. Um, now this gets kind of like conceptual, like what does a style mean? What is a style? Um, I would say things may be illustrated by the same person or something illustrated in the same style. Um, and style could be both shapes or it could be textures or it could be, you know, the type of thing in which something's painted, um, that sort of thing. You kind of have to play around with this. I found personally with me, even though I think I know what styles are, I found that I've got maybe a 75% hit rate. So sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Um, some of this might also be, and we'll look at this, is like the, the concept might be too strong for what we're trying to do. Um, let's just take a look at like sort of how this process works, and then you might want to play around a little bit with this. Um, other thing I should mention is creating a style in Eden um, is requires 75 mana. Mana is their credit system. Um, I believe that works out to about 75 cents if you pay. I think depending on what level you sign up for, it's about a cent per credit. Um, I think when you sign up for an account for the very first time, it gives you 200 free mana, which means you can go ahead and create actually up to two Loras. Um, without burning it through credits. And that's good because uh, you want to create one of your uh, style generators and then you want to actually test it. So you'll burn through some mana uh, also testing it. Um, but you can do this for free, uh, but you do have to make sure you sign up for an account uh, in order to get those free credits in order to actually upload images. Um, once you've gotten there, then you might decide to sign up for a plan and maybe we'll talk about that in, in the next steps. Okay, so I've just go ahead, I've gone ahead and grabbed, like again, because I've made image data sets almost every month, I feel like. Um, I've gone ahead and created just a quick, really quick one that's just a bunch of rocks, essentially. Um, and I'm just going to drag these in. Um, I've done a previous version that I will uh, share with folks. Um, actually, if you are a Patreon or YouTube member, you will actually get the model files for this um, once I'm finished testing this. So uh, if you aren't signed up, please sign up for it now. Um, it's like 10 bucks a month, and I'm going to be like very sure and confident that I'm actually going to release a bunch of stuff for those people uh, over the next couple months. So I'm just going to grab, um, let's see, there's 10, there's 11. I'm going to grab 20 images. Um, Eden requires a max of 20 images. I would say 10 to 20 is probably about the, the range you want to shoot for. And honestly, 15 to 20 is really what, I, what you probably want to shoot for, especially for style. Um, so I'm just going to grab, let me grab a couple more here. And ideally, what you want to grab is a bunch of like sort of a range of images. So see how this, I'm getting different colors, I'm getting different shapes. So ideally you want just sort of a different range. Um, so I'm just gonna drag these in. I've created a different model already. Whoops, okay, let's uh, drop that here. Um, I've created one of these models already, so I know, and that one I went through and really was like explicitly choosing diverse images. This one I'm gonna kind of just like throw some stuff in there and see what happens. We need to give our concept a name. I'm gonna name this Rocks 3, because I've already made many, many different Rocks versions. Um, and then we'll come down here. And there are some settings here, although I don't really pick any of them. I don't really change my settings. Um, based on what Eden says, you should leave it as default. And I would definitely say start by leaving it as default. And then if you are finding it's not working the way you expect it to, then maybe you wanna uh, improve it or change some of your settings. Uh, lastly, there is there are different training modes. If you use Runway, you'll know that Runway 
Um, each training is set up explicitly for uh, characters, objects, or styles. Um, in this case, it's all through concepts, but here is where you pick different training modes. So if you have faces, like say you want to put your face in a bunch of uh, text image models, you would want to take a bunch of different uh, pictures of your face, um, maybe in different lighting, maybe in different you know scenes, different maybe ages if you've got them, different face or hairstyles, and you would want to upload that and use the face model. If you are doing anything that is non-human faced and non-style, you would use objects. So let's say you want to put your cat or your dog in things, um, objects the way to go. Okay, at this point, um, I've set this to style. Again, I'm going to skip my settings. Um, and lastly, I should also mention that if you um, want to make your model private, meaning you don't want the community to see it, you can more than more. You can do that by select, selecting this button here. So uh, select this on on, and you now have a private model which cannot be shared. I don't actually know how many people are using other people's LoRa's on Eden. I mostly think it's you can just see what people are making. Um, but I would say like you know if you're worried at all or really don't want to share, turn it to private. I don't really care for this, so I'm going to leave it as public. Um, at this point, we can go ahead and hit Create. In my experience, uh, training one of these concept generators in Eden takes about 20 minutes, um, 15 to 20 minutes. Now, what's happening behind the scenes is actually really important because one of the nice things about Eden is that it takes care of some of the steps for you. One, it's going to resize your images. It's going to do some cropping, that sort of thing. The other thing that is really important that it does for you um, or is at least helpful and saves you some time, is going to auto-generate captions for each one of these images. So it's going to say something, you know, it's going to say something in effect of like, in the style of Rocks 3, and then give a description of what it actually sees. Now the description is helpful in that it helps train the lore a little bit better. Um, it can kind of find the space and the latent space that it belongs and sort of optimize for those spaces. There are ways, um, if you want to, to upload your own set of descriptions. I don't know why you we necessarily want to do that unless you have like really specific ideas. Um, you can probably learn about that here on this link. Uh, there is a particular format that if you want to set it up to um, have your own uh, sort of text and image connection with your, its own uh, caption, you're more than welcome to do that. But the nice thing is Eden does by default kind of do that for you. So at this point, we're just going to wait a little bit. I want to say, again, I'll take about 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, to generate one of these. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off the recording and come back once this is finished, and we'll look at how to use it. Okay, so my training finished, and you'll notice it took about 14 minutes, which is what I expected. And you'll see here that it generated four images for us. Now, these four images don't really look like anything like what I uploaded, right? Mostly what I uploaded are like individual rocks. That's probably okay, and maybe that's even better, because to be honest, sometimes you generate just rocks, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh, this actually isn't that good, or like, it only does one thing, it generates certain rocks. Here we're seeing some, it's kind of a mix. There's like some stuff that maybe looks kind of like what I uploaded, but like in a much more textural detail. Um, this doesn't really look like anything that I did, but it does have the colors. This I could kind of see the rocks again, and then again, more rocks. So now that we've got this, we can actually start to create some images and see what we get out of this. So let's go ahead and click on create again. We'll go to creations. And then we'll come up here and we'll make sure we're the year in Crate. Now, um, I'll probably go over a lot more of these in future videos, but Eden has a number of different creators. Uh, the main one we're going to look at right now is for Crate because that allows us to use our concepts in it. So let's go ahead and enter in a prompt. Um, let's talk about, let's think about what we want. Uh, let's do maybe like, um, let's start with one that actually is a rock. So let's say um, a beautiful piece of granite. So we've hit our prompt. I'm gonna generate four samples. That's gonna give me an idea of just sort of the range of these models. Um, again, this does cost one mana per sample. Um, so I think it's about like a center, cent per image or whatever. Um, and then we've got some settings here. So we're gonna skip most of the settings. We're gonna leave it at 1024. Um, we're gonna leave the negative prompt as is. I'm gonna switch the sampler to Euler Ancestral. I find in general it just kind of works better. Um, I'm gonna leave the steps at 35, although we might come back and change that. I'm going to close these two. And then the, the important thing is I want to come here and click Concept. And then I'm going to go Select Concept. And then I'm going to select this newest one, which is Rocks. And you'll see I've got two other ones here um, that look kind of like what I already did. Or like they look different, right? These are a little bit closer to what I had uh, what was previously there. So we're going to try this one instead to see how this one works. We'll select this. And then we're going to skip Starting Image. We'll leave the Concept Strength at 0.7, but we might play with this again in the future. So let's go ahead and hit Create. This will again take about maybe 30 seconds um, to generate these images. 
So while this happens, I'm just going to pause our video and we'll come back when this is done. Okay, look at that. Now we've got four pieces of granite. They all look kind of like they have the same sort of style of this one's maybe inverted with this like black and, and gold sort of look, which is kind of cool, but you can kind of see like now you can generate multiple pieces of rock, I guess. Um, but what you'll see is it doesn't really look exactly like our concept here. Uh, and let's try one more um, different image. So let's say a beautiful um, dolphin swimming in a fishbowl. So I'm going to render this one again. And what we'll see very likely is that we won't generate this at all. And then we'll figure out how to get back to that. Because ideally what I want to do is I want to generate a beautiful dolphin in a fishbowl, but still have that sort of rocky appearance to it. Um, and when we try this, I, th I think we're not going to see that. So I'm going to run this again, and then we'll pause again. Okay, honestly, that looks better than I expected. I mean, I do get my dolphin. I do get a circular shape. But you'll see it doesn't look super rocky. It looks kind of like smudgy instead of rocky. So let's see if we can edit this or change this a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the concept strength a bit here. So um, because I'm using, because uh, I have a paid plan to, to Eden, I can actually run multiple versions at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple different versions of these at different concept strengths. So let's go ahead and do one at 0 0.8. Let's just do 0.8. We'll hit create. I'll do another one at 0.9. We'll hit create. And then I'll do another one at 0.95. Or actually, let's just do one. Let's do one fully. So what this should do for me is it should increase the strength. It should look rockier. Um, whereas if I got something that was looking like it wasn't really working, I might turn it down. Like if I was just getting just rocks, even though I want to see a beautiful dolphin, I might actually turn the concept strength down. Um, and this is kind of where you kind of, it's a little bit of play trial by error. Different models are going to have different strengths and some are going to be really overpowering and others are going to need to be turned down. Um, and this is where you kind of need to play with this, and this is why it's nice that you've got some free credits here within uh, Eden to play with and sort of figure out what works. So I'll pause this video again, and then when we're done, we'll come back and take a look at our results. Okay, so I actually cheated. I added a 1.2 concept strength just to sort of show the examples here. So uh, here is 1.2. You'll see it looks much rockier. This is kind of what I was envisioning, like this half rock with a dolphin coming out of it. It's still not rocky enough for the dolphin, but like maybe I can work on that through in-painting or something else. Um, this would then be 1.0, which you'll see still has that sort of like painting look. Um, and then here was 1. Point, what would that be? 0. 0.8, I think, and then 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.9 and 0. 0.8. Uh, and you'll see 0. 0.8 actually has sort of a, a, a you know, the, uh, the fishbowl here. Um, so this just gives you a sense of how to play with these. Now, I will say, um, in this version of training, I didn't really get the best model. I feel like I got a better model previously. Um, and this is kind of the funny part of training Laura's is that just like any kind of training, it goes in weird directions, and it can be hit or miss. But I do like, I mean, this wasn't that expensive. It took 15 minutes, you know, maybe a dollar or two that I spent on it. So generating maybe multiple versions of your Laura's might be good, so you can sort of see the differences between them. Now, I did also use different, slightly different data between them, um, but either way, I think, you know, we're seeing different results here. So what I'm going to do is for Patreon and YouTube backers, I'm actually going to give you a couple of these Laura's, um, and you can play with them. In a next video, I'll show you how to export Laura's from Eden and take them into Comfy, uh, and as well as to take them into Automatic 11.11. So uh, keep an eye out for that video. Um, but yeah, uh, Patreon and YouTube backers, keep an eye out for this. Um, and I'll also send long instructions on how to install stuff. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I lied. I'm not done yet. I got sort of, I wanted to sort of see like what would happen if I used that other model that I thought was working better. So I ran this with that other model, and you can see this is, this is much more what I was looking for. I was looking for something like that sort of 3D view um, within these images. So again, maybe it's the train data. Maybe it's how I train the LoRa. The only other thing I noticed is I left the sampler here at Euler instead of Euler Ancestral. It shouldn't be that big of a difference, but maybe it is. Um, I'm not really sure. This might require me to just play around with this more. Maybe Laura's, you know, in certain in certain cases work better with these. But either way, I actually think this is a model training issue. Um, but it's helpful to see this. It's helpful to see that different trainings will lead to different results. Uh, quite drastic different results in this case. So, um, okay, so now I'm done. Uh, we'll look at another video on how to import these into other tools uh, soon.